Hey guys, today I'm going to be continuing on the tutorial series on how to make a first person shooter game in Unity. Now, there will be a link in the description below, so you'll need to download the package that I have there in order to go ahead and create your game for tutorial 2. So, Basically, I have some ready-made scripts, some prefabs, some audio songs, some enemies, two enemies, a soldier and a robot, and uh, some other 3D models, as well as some seeds as a material Texas I'll have included in the package. So you can go ahead and get that. Uh, I found some very useful scripts and I've tweaked them up a bit to my liking, so I hope it helps you out as much as it did with me. So basically after you've uh, imported the package into your scene you should get this folder just go ahead and open it up. If you're new you can use the basic terrain tutorial 1 or you can use whatever to, uh, terrain you already have. So I'm gonna try to make this tutorial sh very short so basically what you need to do is go to enemy new take the soldier drag it into your scene. Uh, after you've dragged it in, ensure that you ensure that the enemy is not inside of the terrain. And after that, you're gonna want to scale it because when you first drag it into the scene, it's gonna be a little big, so just scale it down a bit. So after you're done scaling it, you'll need to go to the just highlight the soldier new and just scroll down to the bottom to the AR soldier script and uh, put the first person controller, drop the first person controller to the target variable so that the enemy will know who is the target, who is the enemy, who is the player, so they'll know who to attack. After that, we're going to want to um, drop the waypoint into their scene. So, after dropping the waypoint into your scene, I'm not going to do that because I already did. You should. The waypoint should be in your scene, however, after you open up the waypoints, it should be scattered around outside the terrain. It's not within the boundary, so you're going to want to put it inside of the boundary. You're going to need to position these waypoints according to how exactly you want the enemy to move. So if you want the enemy to move, if you want the enemy to move around here, come here come through here go through there however you need to position the waypoints as you can see I position this waypoint here and this waypoint there and the other waypoint down there yes so basically my enemy is gonna patrol around the terrain in this order in this form just after you've done that just go ahead and hit play it should load up in any second I'm not gonna maximize on play I want you guys to actually see that the surger is moving in the scene so you'll see at the top in the scene view here that the surger is moving any minute it should load I'm using a low end PC so it's gonna my performance is at maximum at the moment I'm using a not a dual core single core processor so I'm not that fortunate. What it should do though for tutorial purposes. Any minute now it should load up. Voila. Alright then. The soldier is there. And as you can see the soldier is moving in the scene. Just press F to focus in on it. And you can see there he's playing a walking animation and he's walking according to the waypoints that I've set up in the scene. Just play keen attention to the uh, pay keen attention to the enemy. You can see he just went from this here to this direction. Then he's gonna go to the other waypoint. Then the others that I've set up in the scene. So that's basically it. So 
once you follow the, uh, the instructions you shouldn't have much of a problem so that's basically how you add an automated enemy with waypoint and making patrol with waypoint sorry so yeah if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you have any problems you comment and I'll help you out as soon as possible anything in particular that you would like to you know me to touch on in for the tutorials you can you know comment below and I'll make it my duty to you know grant your request so yeah that's pretty much it so until next time peace